I wanted to do the mountains in the right. time with best weather, so I was going to do it from April to September, hopefully get the best sunshine, the, the longer days. Um, and I just gave myself a, a short time frame as well because I wanted to just ha have a crazy adventure, um, get them all done as quickly as possible, um, set this peak bagging record. So I climbed all 446 mountains in the fastest time uh, ever. And that was kind of a big motivating factor. That just felt awesome to me to be able to kind of set this record. And, um, but also I gave myself a strict time frame because um, that was just a motivator. If I just had an undefined kind of end date, then I probably just would have ro rolled with it for ages or would come up with loads of excuses not to do it. I probably still wouldn't have finished them now. So that was just a kind of good, uh, good motivator. Gave me a, gave myself a proper challenge, a proper target, and that that, that was awesome. Yeah, I've got a few favourites. Uh, in Wales, my favourite is Trevan. Um, it's just a really dramatic rocky mountain. There's amazing ways to scramble to the top. Everyone loves Trevan. It just looks so, it's, it looks really beautiful, really rugged. It's a classic mountain and I love dramatic mountains and you don't get much more dramatic than Trevan. Uh, in England, my favourite is uh, a mountain called Hope Gill Head in the Lake District. It's a bit of an odd decision. Not many people would pick that one out, but for me, it's for a personal reason. Near where I live in Cockermouth in the Lake District, Hope Gill Head is uh, really prominent on the skyline. And just every day when I wake up or when I'm walk walking around uh, the town that I live in, I can see this mountain and it just looks beautiful, looks really dramatic. And it's that mountain that really calls me. I feel like it's really calling me to the mountains. And I love that about it and it is it's a beautiful place it just has a kind of special special meaning to me so that's why I love Hope Girl Head. There's a few scary moments a few few kind of calamities uh, I got caught in this horrific storm in North Wales near um, near Trafan and I probably shouldn't have gone up but I, but I was just on this relentless schedule trying to bag all these peaks I headed up uh, the weather was just atrocious it was uh, howling gales and torrential rain and there's cloud and mist are just zero visibility so it's really really difficult to navigate properly um, and uh, there's times where I was just kind of actually lying on the ground sort of hugging a boulder trying to not get um, trying to not get blown off a ridge or what have you and I was actually meant to be wild camping, but it was so rough, so gnarly, the weather that I bailed and I slept in a emergency shelter just for safety. So uh, I found this little hut uh, that was marked on the map, slept in there uh, and just managed to avoid avoid um, any sort of major disasters and just kept myself safe and um, so that was a bit of a hair raising moment. But, but generally I was just a hill walking. Um, generally quite safe thing to do and even though I was solo I was telling people where I was going when I was expected to be back just trying to stay safe in the mountains and that was that seemed to work pretty well as a strategy. I'd say that don't get obsessed with um, a list of mountains or trying to um, do it for you know, for the sake of doing the list, the list effectively just um, get out there as much as you can, head to the mountains on your weekends or your days off, or maybe if you've just got a local hill near to where you live, can you head out there after work? Just indulge in the mountains, indulge in the hills, get outside, spend more time, uh, as much time outside as you can, and just um, deepen your love for the mountains. If you love it, if you've got a real passion for it, then you, you're going to be inspired to do it, and it's not going to be something you have to force it's going to be something that comes naturally. Um, I am a big advocate of peak bagging so if you want to kind of give yourself a mission or a challenge then if you choose to do the Munros or the Wainwrights or like what I did the Nuttles that's a, that's an awesome thing to do as well It'll give you mission give you that extra bit of a kick up the bum to get out an extra bit of a, a motivation give you a sense of achievement as you see your um, targets increasing so I just always encourage people just grab your hiking boots uh, grab your rucksack and head out to the hills because you won't regret it and um, I'm sure you'll, you'll gain so much from it. I'm not sure about that, May maybe. If I could get a um, just a chunk of time off work, then maybe I would be inspired to do that. I mean, I'm trying to just kind of go on to new adventures. I've got this idea that I've already done England and Wales. I want to try and climb all the mountains in Ireland, then maybe go to Scotland and then 
hey presto, I've done the whole of Britain. So that almost might be this kind of like longer term mission for me. Um, but having ticked off all these 446 managers, I never felt like, oh, I've done them now, I can forget about them. I actually love still going back to the same mountains. Every time you go back to a different mountain, you get a different experience. I still love revisiting the, the mountains I've already climbed. You always gain something from them. And I'm never getting bored of them. I just got this kind of love for the mountains. They really like improve my life. They give me something special. The, the views, the freedom, the escapism. It's just, I, f I find mountains just a really special place to be. Uh, I'm really called to the mountains and that um, that is a great thing. So I'm sure I'm gonna be doing many of those 446 again at some point. Yeah, I just think I just always tried to maintain a positive attitude. So I used to, many years ago, be quite a negative person. I'd um, kind of be a, heart, a glass half full kind of um, kind of person. Sorry, glass, <laughs> glass half empty kind of a person. Um, I would, you know, I'd be a bit of a negative person. I'd go on negative spirals. I wouldn't always um, see the best in things, but but. More recently, I've just really tried to be a positive person that if you get low moments, just think about it positively. Don't dwell on the mistakes or don't dwell on um, how uncomfortable you are, how cold or wet or miserable you feel. That Just know that you can roll with it. And also, it's always good to remember that um, when you go through the lows, the highs are even sweeter. So I've had terrible wild camping mistakes or just really bad days in the mountains, terrible, terrible weather. But when you go through that and then you come out the the end and you get that day where it's you, you're on a glorious sun-drenched ridge and you're all alone in the mountains and you've got these incredible panoramas in front of you then you've you, you know th those highs taste even even sweeter when you've experienced the lows so that's that's something I always tried to remember and that that positive outlook just helped me through everything.